Tak, dobrý večer, všichni vás to vítám na další díky měsíci autorského čtení. Dnes přivítáme autorku skotskou Kathy Morgan McKean, která se své jméno píše i ve verzi K.S. Morgan McKean. Obě verze se jí stejně, když jsem se jí ptal. Je to skotská dramatička a akademička. V současnosti, v současnosti pracuje na hře Sam Wales, za kterou již udržela docela prestižní skotské ocenění. Nechá, nechápejte to tak, že by tu hru jako začala psát a jim to je tak dobrý, tak se to dáme ocenění, ale že už napsala některé verze, už je to vlastně třetí verze, co teďka píše. Jo? Takže v podstatě už za některou z těch hotových verzí dostala ocenění. A teď se to jako upravuje na finální podobu. Vezi další díla patří například hra Leave Taking, která byla v roce 2013 zincenována v programu Play for Edinburgh, nebo Hra pro Edinburgh. Přednáší dramatickou tvorbu na univerzitě v Halu, kde je její kolegou, má pořád který známý, Pavel Drábe, dramatik z Brna a profesor z anglistiky a z divadla. V rámci své akademické kariéry se zabývá skotským dramatem současným i minulým. Pro nás jako návštěvníky měsíce autorského čtení je také zajímavý fakt, že Kathy Morgan McKean stojí za tím výběrem všech těch zajímavých a úžasných a legendárních skotských autorů, protože to byla právě ona, kdo spolupracovala s těmi mluvými a právě ona jim podala ten seznam těch jmen a navrhla, nominovala ty jednotlivé autory. A, takže vás jenom poprosím, abyste přivítali Kathy Morgan McKean. most inappropriate thing to say to you in this precise moment, Heather. Excuse me. Paul, do people ever actually use chat-up lines? They don't, do they? I think that's a shame, because it makes the intention very clear, and I'd like someone to make things clear to me. Is there a mirror in your pants? Because I can see myself in them. One of my father's. You can do this one with me. I go, where's the party? You go in my mouth if you want to come. Let's try it. Where's the party? Where's the party? Heather, can you not just leave me alone? Paul, that's why you're here. Heather, I'm here to bury my mother. Paul, oh why? That's a shame. Heather, can't you respect that? Paul, respect what? Heather, I want to be on my own. So you don't believe she's here then? Heather, who? Paul, your mother. Heather, no, yes. Yes, 
yes, I do. Paul, make up your mind. Helen, will you just leave me alone? Paul, so you can get over the death of your mother? Yes. So you can get over the loss of your mother? Yes. So you can get over the loss of your mother, who's lying buried here? Yes. I lost someone today. Not today, years ago. My father, who was a complete prick, so I haven't spoken to him for more than 20 years. That's what I mean when I say I lost him years ago. Because I've been telling people he's dead for years. People that I meet, people like you. But it's only today that he's actually lying in the ground. So if you know the words to say to get over that, then I think that's something that I need to hear. I do. I think I'll stay. You don't know what to say now, do you? Heather, not with you standing there. Paul, is it my breathing? Heather, pardon? Paul, because I'm standing here, alive. Is it putting you off? Because you only want to talk to dead strangers, not living, breathing ones like me. I said, am I putting you off? Heather, I thought you were firing into me. Paul, you've got a plan. Heather, I know. Paul, you might even have a baby. Heather, of course I've got a baby. Paul, is it yours? Heather, of course it's mine. What do you mean? Because it's not your grave, is it? It's not your mother who's buried here. It's freshly dug. You can see it is. Are you stupid? Did you not think? Did you not think there'd be someone around who cared? I would be right, wouldn't you? If you did think that. Because I don't care, do I? Do I? Heather, I'll leave. She's putting some distance between us. Paul. But when I saw you standing here, I didn't even mean to come here, but I went up to the house and thought they just looked through me. Why do people do that? Before they did that, I was getting on, they didn't know who I was, but that told me they knew exactly who I was. That told me they knew exactly who I am, who I was, who I am. Who am I? Heather struggling with the break on the pram. When I saw you, I thought two things. No way, and is she planning to bury that baby? Separate thoughts, not connected. Heather, get away from me. So you see, it really wasn't the most inappropriate thing I could think of to say to you. I've just had it with Lyot, you know. Heather shoves the pram at him. What the? Heather reverses the pram and tries to go around him. Paul holds the pram. He realizes what he's doing. God, I didn't mean anything. Please help me. Heather, I have to go. Paul, no, wait, I'll go. Please, I'm sorry. You wanted to say goodbye to your mother, right? You want me to go. You're the first person to speak to me all day. Don't you think I have a right to be here? Heather starts to move the fan again. Okay, I understand. I was just trying to... I don't know. Paul starts to walk. He's limping slightly. Heather watches him. Heather, you're all right? Paul, about what? Heather, your leg. Paul, why? Heather, it's my fault. Paul, why? What? Oh, I thought you said I was right. Heather, my mother's not dead. Paul, so I was right. I'm sorry I stood by your father's grave. Paul, oh. and tried to bury your mother alive. Heather, yes. I'm sorry. Paul, oh. I thought I did that with my father years ago. I don't think we ever moved forward, any of us. We're just stuck. Do you want to go for a drink? What? It's not sex. Heather, I've got someone. Paul, oh. so what? It's not sex. I thought I explained that. Tea's a drink. Decaffeinated tea. Fruit tea. Come on. Just talk to me. Heather, I need to get back. Paul, oh. right. Of course you do. Heather's phone rings and drinks. Heather, have you ever been in a relationship with someone good? We had a. He left. Paul, why? Heather, I know, with the baby and everything, he just left. 
I always phone, always. I think I'm in the right this time. Paul, does it matter? Heather, it, it's never happened before. Paul, won't you be worried? Heather, you should worry. You should. Paul, what did you do? Heather, we were going to... It's not... It's hard to explain. Paul, that's all right. Heather, we were in the park and his, his parents were walking towards us and we were meant to... to... But he just speeded up. He was pushing the pram and he just left it and speeded right away. I'm struggling with this thing and I'm thinking, fuck you. What if I just leave the pram as well? And I did it. Paul, why would you do that? Heather, I gave the pram a kick. Paul, it's just a pram. Heather, but they, his balance, I think he saw me. I think he saw everything. Paul, so what did he say? Nothing. I don't know what he saw. He doesn't, they don't, it's complicated. You wouldn't understand. I don't understand. I can't explain. It's not his fault. Paul, the baby's father. Heather, no, it's not. Because he's good. He's just good. Paul, so why didn't you phone him? Heather, because I think I'm right about this. But that's happened before. And he has this way, I don't know. I'll go back, of course I will, and he'll be calm. He'll give me my space. It's really annoying, Heather. But sometimes it's not. And I don't even know why he is the way he is, because the things he's had to fight against, he really shouldn't be. He just always sees good in people. It's weird. I'm not a nice person. I'm not as good a judge of people as I like to think I am. I've just been in a room with my closest kin and nobody spoke to me. Heather, what did you do? Paul, what makes you think I did anything? You're the one who's not a nice person. I'm just saying I'm not the best judge, that's all. Heather, you think I'm not a nice person? I think I hide it quite well. People like me. Paul, I called him a prick. My father, which he was. And he walked out of my life in a way that meant that I could never walk back into his. Heather's phone rings. Hello, sorry, she answers as it stopped ringing. Nick, hello, Nick. That's weird. It's me. I don't know what happened. I think you called, but it's gone to your voicemail. We're fine. I'm sorry. We're coming home. Call me back. Is it colder? Just wait a second. Are you cold? Paul plants one foot and then another on the fresh air until he is standing on the grave. Paul, this doesn't feel right. Heather, do you want to step back? Paul, I think I do want to. Paul starts to step back without turning around, trying not to disturb the earth any further. Heather awkwardly tries to help him, holding her hands up as though ready to catch him. He steps back into her hands and in their shuffling he falls over onto the grave. Heather reaches down to help him up. Paul stands up and they're still holding hands. Paul shakes her hand quickly, formally. He shakes back. He steps back, nearly overbalancing again, but not quite. Paul, were your parents retarded? Because I think they're pretty special. There, I thought of another one. Um, and then the next scene that I'm going to read from the same play um, happens a week later when we encounter each other again. Další scéna, kterou se stojí, je z té samé hry a odehrává se týden po tomto okamžiku, kdy se to tyto dva na obě potkají. Saturday. Heather stands by a new grave, the pram close by. There were flowers on the grave. Paul enters and stands next to her. Paul. You couldn't keep away from me, could you? Heather, I'm sorry. No, I mean it. I'm sorry. I don't think I said it, did I? Last week, you just lost your dad, and I didn't say I was sorry, did I? I don't think I did. Paul, that's not why you're crying, though, is it? Heather, I don't know. Those flowers there, Heather, yes. Paul, why? Heather, for you. Why did you come back here? Paul, you're asking me. 
And um, yes, why are you back here? I nearly destroyed something yesterday. I didn't know. I woke up this morning and there were birds singing. I don't usually hear them, just seagulls. Maybe they drown the night, do they? This morning I could hear birds at five. I got up and went into the kitchen. The blind was down over the window and it was like they were in there, right in the room. It made me think about spring and flowers and then I thought about you. Because you didn't bring flowers last time, did you? No. Heather, but I didn't think you'd be back here, Paul. I have left, Heather, I know. Paul, I don't live here, Heather, I know. There's vampires everywhere. You notice that? They keep coming back. Why is that? Paul, repetition. When Nana was able to let go, Heather, is that true? Are you sure? Paul, of course I'm not sure. It used to be the lost voice. And before that, Nostradamus, Dracula. We're just telling each other the same stories. Maybe we're not even obsessed with death or eating each other. We're just obsessed with ourselves. That's obvious, isn't it? Heather, what about zombies? Shopping and sex, probably. Heather, shopping and sex and death. Or, oh my. Heather. So the birds were singing, but it wasn't light outside. He was awake, so we came for a walk. We came for a walk here. Paul, did you steal the flowers? Heather. I didn't. No. I'm trying to say sorry. Paul, would you say sorry to him? Heather, to Nick? No. I don't know. Paul, I think you should. Not knowing you long, you're in no position to offer a relationship advice to anyone. I think you should. Heather, you're not in a relationship then. Paul, shopping and sex and what? Heather, you left me. story about how you adore me. Paul, oh, sounds familiar. Uh, that's not all of it. It's not the title, just a bit of it. It keeps going round and round in my head. Paul, oh, tell me a story. Uh, yes, do you know what it is? Paul, oh, no. The silence. The baby starts to cry. Paul, oh, the baby's crying. Uh, never crying. She looks at Paul oh, and back to the baby. Paul oh, walks away. So the next piece that I'm going to read is a play, a short play called Someone Good for the Gay Extremists. <laughs> like this, in this place. You know this place, you don't, you're joking, you're not. Okay, right, you know the scene, music in, opening a free gay anatomy. Boys in boxer boots, standing on the bar, dancing in their pants, like this, on a bad night. What? On a good night, it's more like this. 
on a good night, it's someone with something untouchable about him. Michael, someone like me, someone like him. But this isn't that night, this isn't that place. Music out, Ali, this is music in, opening of I am what I am. I, I know, but she said she's got a new rule. Only go to bars where you can sit down without thinking you might catch something. I told him we should shave his balls to make his dick look bigger. I'm sorry, doc, I just don't think that's fair. There's not a razor in the world, I swear. I says to her, I says, you're not going on holiday because of his actions. I quite like a bar with something sticky about it. I wouldn't like all muscles like that. It's like the sex is there for the taking. You've already, you're already paying an emotional price, so it's not reasonable that you pay a financial cost as well. Therefore, unless he was really short-sighted, she said I was making a point for her, or blind, put it that way, or had no sense of touch. I'm sorry, I just don't think that's fair. And then she gives me this look like, well, when did you last take it anyway? I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of you, the kind of ginger he was. You're going to die it, die it all. Ali, Ali. How do we not have anyone on the market dancing in their pants? Ali, we don't. Instead, we have boys like me, not quite beautiful, and one like him. He isn't the first one to say it. Ali, he's the first one to say it to me. In this place, Ali, he is a very rare combination. Michael, because I am actually trustworthy. Ali, if he were a poem, he'd be an oxymoron. Michael, and I am gorgeous. Ali, this is the kind of thing I say out loud, which is why he shouldn't be with me. Michael, and I am far too good for this place. Ali, I'm far too good for me. Michael, but here I am, here with you, trust me, Ali, he says, and I think he means, Michael, I trust you, Ali stands apart, Ali, for this key moment in my life, I am not on my knees, but I am peeing and swaying gently, and it feels like the moment might not be far away, stranger walks in, I see his face in the mirror, I haven't seen him before, he stands next to me, I take a moment, and meet his eye. It's just, it's nothing, a habit. I wouldn't actually do anything. Michael, trust me. Ali, would I? The sound of glass breaking, music out. Ali, there's a crash like, and they're shouting, and I swear, I swear they're screams. And both of us, I swear this is how it happens. We look away. I don't think about it, Michael, trust me. Ali, I think about this stranger next to me, and we wait. I feel it. We take our time. Michael and Riz, get the fuck out. You don't belong here. Riz, you dirty little queer. Ali, it's so quick. But we, I know we do that. I know we take our time. Because we don't know what's waiting, and because we do. Last time they came at us outside throwing words and rubbish, but you were safe if you could get back inside. It's worse than that this time. It's worse than when we were standing at the bus stop and we saw him do this to me. Michael kisses the back of Ali's head. Worse than eggs and beer cans and fists and the threat of knives and never leaving here on my own. Michael takes Ali's hand. You really shouldn't say they like that. Ali, you know what I mean. Michael, that's not how to fight. The world hasn't changed, Ali. Ali, and how do we win? Michael, like this. Michael calls Ali towards him, the sound of glass breaking. Michael is on the floor. Ali, when I get out there, they're leaving backwards. Riz, bang. Ali, one of them says to me, Riz, you're dirty. Ali, he kicks something and turns his back on me. You fucking poof. That's what I say. That's the worst thing I can think of to say to him. And then I see that something that he's kicked isn't something it's... Except you're not saying it. You're not saying anything anymore. And they're gone. And it's just you and me. And then, then it's just me. Ali kneels down next to Michael, cradles him. I told you, key moment. I'm never ready. Because it's never the one I'm expecting, you see. Two. Ali, I'm walking, just walking, thinking that it's been three days and there's still his blood underneath my fingernails. First, I was scrubbing it, but then it felt like, why do I want to rub every last piece of him away? 
no pun, but you know this is a Muslim area. Go to your face. What's wrong with your face, mate? What's wrong with your face? Why are you dressed like that for? You're a homosexual. You're a homosexual. I'm not doing anything. You're walking through a Muslim area. Bad. You're walking through a Muslim area dressed like a bad mate. You need to get out of here. Ali, I am getting out of here. You need to get out of here quicker then. Ali, I'm trying. You're dirty. Dirty. You're dirty. Ali, I know. Look at your shoes. You know. Did you say you know? Admit you're dirty. Ali, I run. Ali runs. Their laughter's behind me, so I don't think they're coming after me, but my fear drives me in my disgust, and every cigarette I've ever smoked is coming up and choking me, and I am sick, and I am dirty, and I'm a fucking little coward, so I run. Ali falls as though he has run straight into something, smack into something, a lamppost, a fist, something, and I have a dream. A dream of you. Of you here, breathing. Trust me. You're saying stands over Ali. Ali, a new dream, a vision, an angel. If angels had hair cut the way it is because they haven't got as much as they had in their twenties, but this makes them sexier somehow and you can tell that, Callum, I work out. Ali, this hand and this face, Ali touches Callum's face and there's no fear in it. I feel it pass through me when he touches me, a lack which makes him whole. He does not fear. Callum holds his hand out to Ali. Ali knees up. Callum, it's okay, I've got you. Ali, and he has, of course. Callum helps Ali to his feet. Ali, not like that. Callum, you're all right. Ali, he doesn't want me like that. Callum, there was more than one, wasn't there? Ali, the lamppost I hit my head on had one of their st stickers on it. A big rainbow circle with a line through it, a gay free zone, and something about Allah. But that's not why I'm thinking this now. It's because he said, Callum, they never come at us one on one, do they? Ali, and because I love this song. Music and Sheila P. Giovanni. A barn appears as a fantasy figure, as though something of the air perhaps lifted by two of the other men. A barn lip sinks. No, no, I don't like it. Ali knee slides over to a van, his best leading man, Bollywood Butch. Ali, you know I'm going to love you like that, a van, whatever. Two of the other men dance after them, Bollywood style, chest thumping Butch but camp. They lip sync. A van, I know you want it but you're never going to get it, you're never going to get my body. B and C drag Ali away from the van. Music becomes J Ho, you are my destiny. Ali, and I see him. For the first time, I see him, and I see myself in him. I see the first time in his life when he was afraid to get on a train, not because of the bombs, but because of what people might do to him, what people have done to him, said to him. I see how we've always been on the outside, how we've never belonged until this moment, until now. But I'm not here, and he's not here, and I'm not on my knees, am I? And so. Ali and Callum as before. Callum, I know how you're feeling. Ali, he says. Callum, so you don't need me to tell you. Ali, there's something gentle about him. I wouldn't have expected that. Callum, I look out for you though, okay? Ali, Callum, I look out for you, Ali, okay? He shortens my name, which is shortened already, so. But when he does it, I don't mind. I don't fancy him. We're not against anyone. It's important to keep hold of that. Ali, it just makes me feel, Ali. We're just not for anyone being against us either. Ali, it just makes me feel less alone. Callum, that makes sense, doesn't it? Ali, it just makes me feel less lost. Callum, just because we're gay, it doesn't mean we can't fight back. Ali, I can't fight. Callum, just because you're gay, it doesn't mean you're not a man. Ali. I'm not that kind of man, Callum. How do you know, Ali? I just know. Callum, you won't bring me alone. Ali, a march, he tells me. What is it with us and marching? Callum, did you get lost? Ali, I didn't know what to wear. Callum laughs. Ali, it's like pride without the lesbians and their drumming. Callum, before it lost its edge, Ali, and the 
Christian son praying at me. Callum, before it lost its anger, they're joined by two others. Um, we're angry. I can feel it. Men with shaved heads and jeans and tight t-shirts, just not the kind that I'm used to. The kind of men who would usually scare the shit out of me. But we are not homophobic and we are not sexist and we are not anti-Semitic and we are not racist and we are not Islamophobes. Um, not all of us. But we will defend what needs defending, women. We will defend Jews. We will defend fucking feminists. We will defend queers. Callum, he always gets in wankers. Ali, and I am not alone. We will defend our hard-won freedoms. Ali, and I am not afraid. Because we didn't break the rules, did we? They did that. They did. And for the first time in my life, I'm a one of us. I'm not a one of them. And we are here, and we are legion, and we are marching rows and rows, and we are fighting. We will fight you, Ali. This is us, here, fighting back, Callum. And we are beautiful, and we are ugly, and we will only ever be absolutely what we are. And if there's a few extremists in the midst, well, of course there are. We deserve to be angry, don't we? Ali, it's like a game. It's always been a game. But we're not just playing anymore. Because at the end of the day, we have to pick a side, right? Callum, don't listen to him. The state isn't on our side. Look at the police. They're the worst. They're as against you as they are me. Callum, stop. It's only a war if you make it one. A barn enters. Ali, I don't hear him. I don't hear any of this. I'm frozen. Callum, what's this? He, who's this? Ali, it's him. Ali, that's a lovely dress, darling. Ali, not walking backwards. But I know it is. Callum. Lost, Ali, and even now, we give some assistance. Even now, I am afraid of him. This is gay town. We're the gay patrol, religion free zone. Are you here to get dirty? Go on, get out of here. A ban, I'm trying. Not hard enough. Ali, give this boy a hand. Tell him, Ali, no. B trap trips up a ban. Ali, my foot finds its home in his flesh, and so do I. This is what I am, what I have always been. Baby, I was born this way. Ali kicks a barn. Music in. He and Ali attack a barn as Callum tries to defend him. There's some dancing and some violence. It's all part of the same thing. Callum pushes Ali to his knees. He faces down Lee. He wins. Callum helps a band to his feet. Music out. Callum, just stay where you are, Ali. And stay away from me, Ali. It's like a hundred scenes I've played before. We could just hold out his hand. Something. He could just reach out to me. It's not him I have to get to. It's you. Ali. I get up and I start running. Like that's the only way to reach you. Like if I run fast enough and far enough, I'll get to you. To this place. You know this place. You do. It's still music and I am what I am. And sometimes I look at him when he's sleeping. I said that isn't his fucking dressing I've had before. And I think, I am. I am completely in love with you. And I said, where would you wear them? And then when he's awake, he just annoys the fuck out of me. I mean, he doesn't even like boxing. Ali, I know when I get there, you'll be standing by the bar. Right, trust me. And this time I'll do it. This time I promise you I will. Michael, like this, Ali, and I have a dream of me and you, of you here breathing, and me beside you, like you never left, Ali faces Michael, there's a crack on the floor, all the way from the bar to the door, Michael, the world's the same, Ali, Ali, you don't notice the crack, you don't notice how far away I am from you, I call but there's no sound, of course there isn't, and the crack's moving, it's moving towards you, you don't fall, it takes you, Swallowed you away somewhere and leaves him. Ali faces a bar. Ali. And I'm standing with my arms open and I say to him, It's okay. We're okay. We're all somehow going to be fine. And he runs to me. Ban runs at Ali. Ali wraps his arms around him. Ali. And it's so fast. But I do feel it. I do feel the knife go in. The sound it makes. I hear it. Ali leads into a bar. Ali. And I'm looking around for you. Because if this is how it ends, then you should be here. 
but I can't see you. I can't see anything. The bandits added drop to his knees. I remember a time when the world was good and I thought I would do good in it. How he stands holding the sun. But now I'm hissing and swaying gently. And I'm thinking the moment might not be so very far away. I see him in the mirror. I watch him walk in. The band stands as the next hour. Uh, the key moments in my life. I'm off. Když jsem, jsem měla takové pokušení, jak jsem předtím říkala, uh, před všemi uh, zeptat se, jaké je referendum, jak je integrace, uh, protože to referendum je v podstatě ta nej, nejdůležitější věc, která dominuje na prostě všemu ve Skotsku a ty, ty řeči o tomto referendum jsou nekonečné, a protože ta věc je zatím nevyzavřená. Takže žádnou krátkou odpověď na toto téma nemám, ale věřím v to, že to referendum je srovnané a je spojené se spoustou pozitivních věcí, zvláště se týče sociální rovnosti. Czechs, 
So would, would you think that Scots would feel when they were called English, you know, like all Scots are English? Would, would, would you think the feeling? Would be? Um, just well, I, I think it happens a lot. It's it's a it's a it's a, it's a kind of joke thing, and I think some people understand. Stává se to docela často a je to spíš takový vtip, kdy lidi mají spíš jako vtip a, a ne jako a něco, s čím by se sluci stotožnili. A v podstatě ten pocit ohledně toho je, že to je nepřesné označení. A to to, to, to zkoušku tak to vnímají. Tak, ještě byla jedna otázka, že? Do té čtyři. Jo, when were you born? Jak jste se narodil? So, when were you born? Jak jste se Oh, specifically in Cardiff. Um, I lived in Cardiff for the first six months of my life. Um, and then for the rest of my life, I have lived either in Glasgow or um, in London. Um, and I currently work in um, the north of England. And I believe that there is um, a not insignificant bid for Yorkshire independence. Um, So yes, it's it's a complex thing. Yeah. To to složitost, to to complexity. Uh, Scotland will be able to hold itself together in Wales, concretely Cardiff. This is the first time in my life that I've spent my life in Glasgow or in London. And currently, I live in the south of London. And I can say that I'm in Yorkshire, so I'm in the south of England. 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 responsibility is uh, um, uh, of course it, it, well it's, it's everyone's responsibility I mean, to, to kind of recognise and promote equality I think that legislation is important as is language um, which is another thing that's often criticised you often hear or it's um, political correctness from man se povedlo získat mnoho, co se se týče práv ohledně ohledně sňatků, pár stejného pohlaví. A rozhodně souhlasím s tím, že to je i otázka zodpovědnosti, aby to zodpovědnost leží na každém, aby uznal pozici těchto menšin a aby, aby v podstatě ty menšiny neměli, aby měli svůj hlas, což souvisí i s otázkou jazyka, kde je nutné zachovat určitou nebo je to spojené s politickou korektností a jazyk je velice důležitý, ale sama můžu říct, že jsem si všiml, že za posledních 20 let se to hodně změnilo. And it changed to good or bad? Oh, okay. yeah. A myslím, že se 
měl se to rozhodně lepší. I always wonder and I always uh, kind of admire people that uh, uh, do something and they all also lecture about it. Also, uh, <laughs> also have interest in it in the, in the academic spirit. And so my question is about the um, mutuality of these two things, or if there is a conflict or struggle between the two, uh, the, the relationship in the end. Yeah, I mean, you can probably guess that the um, conflict Thank you. 
favourite suggestions. Um, my favourite, of course, is Lindsay Patton. Yeah. <laughs> Um, za to, za to, za Seznam nejsem úplně zodpovědná jenom sama. Uh, ne všichni autoři, které jsou oslovili, které, které jsem navrhla, jsou, jsou tu uh, tento, tento měsíc v Brně. A někteří autoři nejsou úplně známí, přestože znám jejich dílo. Uh, možná ten fakt, že jsem vybírala ty, ty autory sama, tak může za to, že tady mám větší procento dramatiků, a protože jsem použila tu síť těch lidí, které znám. A Rozšířila jsem si o další jména a vybrala jsem ty dramatiky. A potom jsem ještě ty básníky vybírala, takže jsem se ptala, uh, jsou pomocí z těch mailů od Týna. Týna. Poprosila jsem kamarádku uh, básničku, která mi poradila uh, ty skotské básníky a básničky. A kdybych měla říct, kdo je můj nejoblíbenější, tak je to samozřejmě Linda Kachny. Prostě otázka, jestli jsem to say that most writers write out of a fear of something. And I think um, that um, I write out of a fear of simplifying that debate within myself, that it's not something that I really understand. So I'm writing that to try and grapple with it. And because it's something that at the moment is an issue that's very specific to certain regions, but which I see that it's, it's a debate that's not really being wholly engaged with. So yes, I suppose there is a desire for, for people to engage, but yeah, for, for, for me to engage also, um, and to recognise that there isn't an easy answer to the questions that are going in that debate. Uh, většina autorů píše z nějakým úmyslem nebo z nějakou, z nějakou motivací, Uh, pro mě tohle není úplně jednoduché tak, tak na to povědět, ale těším si, uh, obávám se, uh, domnívám se, že to je, že píšu z toho strachu, že bych to mohla zjednodušit, z toho, že by se to mohlo nějakým způsobem zjednodušit na určitou úroveň, tak s tím musím zápasit a musím tuto věc, uh, která je hodně specifická pro určité regiony, uh, podat dalším lidem a jistě potvrdím, že mám určitou touhu, uh, aby se zapojili do toho, tohoto tématu je ostatní lidé a aby viděli, že to není jednoduchá věc.
question about media, but uh, my favorite question is uh, if uh, you have uh, had an adaptation of a play in your view, or if you yourself uh, have experienced adapting a play to a radio play, and how do you feel when you, when you, when you view or when you hear of an imageless, imageless uh, adaptation of your work or someone else's work? Yeah, so, so my work hasn't um, been adapted for radio. I did try to once adapt one of my plays for radio, but um, the story thought that was too much swearing. Although I can't imagine that was the only problem with it. I um, can't imagine it very much. Um, I think some plays work extremely well um, on radio, and it is a hugely evocative. Um, yeah, and can have a very, very visceral impact. And I, and I suppose I do. You know, I, I love language in drama and that juxtaposition of image <coughs> and um, spoken text. Um, so yes, bridges can do this and can reach a huge audience, but there's. So, uh, uh, I'd like to ask you uh, who's your favorite author uh, out, of, out of the authors who wrote you know, world fiction, the great major world fiction authors? Then, which playwright do you look up to? Yeah. If you have a personal, personal uh, model, role model, and uh, if you've ever come across a Czech writer, <laughs> if you've ever come across a Czech author. Uh, the last one's easy, um, Pavel Dravik. Pavel Dárkoš to říkali, ten 
můj, můj český autor, ve kterém jsem vyšla to, co je můj kolega a velice se mluví, co dělá. A když bych se měl vyjádřit té světové literatuře, tak doufám, že to nebude znít jako kliše, když řeknu, že se mi líbí a vždycky líbila Jane Austenová. A z těch současných dramatik Ček, dramatiků, které mě spíše které se líbí, je autorka, který znáš, která je sice američanka, ale její ženy se hrály i v Anglii v 90. letech. Ona i dnes píše, ale její hry se z nějakého důvodu nehrají tak často. Řekla bych, že kulturní lidi se úplně zvázili, ale její, její práce dnes spočívá spíše v spolupráci s Hollywoodem. Question. So, do you feel a part of a, of a wave, of a certain wave of, uh, of playwrights that, that uh, is coming up from the contemporary theatre? Or if not, do you feel there is a wave that is influencing and uh, becoming part of the contemporary theatre? I can tell you a wave that I would like to be part of that I think could be happening, which is under the new artistic. Mám spíš to, že řeknu vám něco úplně, které bych ráda patřila, do které bych ráda, se kterou bych ráda byla spojována. Jedná se o hnutí Travers, které já jsem možná vnímal na začátku. Je to, to ten Edimburský, Edimburské divadlo, které, které je zrušující hlavně v tom, že produkuje hry, které psali a které jsou o ženách, které psali ženy, které jsou o ženách. A tímto způsobem a jiným způsobem je tato produkce odvážná a, a riskantní. A moje práce s tímto, s tímto divadlem byla spojena. K jejich výročí jsem napsala hru, kterou, kterou to divadlo hrálo. A bylo by ráda, kdyby tato vlna mě nesla dál a kdyby se stala součástí tohoto hnutí, které tímto způsobem tímto způsobem sympatické. Shortly, organization was, uh, I don't know, uh, very shortly. Uh, 
chceme do toho povedie, tak nám to všetko na všetko. A, a, co si myslí autorka o ostatních zemích, které, zástupci ostatních zemí, které jsou ve Skotsku a jejich vztahu k té nezávislosti v Skotsku? Mimo Skotsku. Mimo Skotsku. So yes, about the foreign, maybe the foreign relations question and uh, in connection to the referendum. So if there's the support from other nations and nationalities to the Scottish referendum or if there's, on the other hand, an opposition to that. Not from the end. Not from the end, except but, apart from the revision. We're talking about is, is other nations. Is Ve Skotsku existuje poměrně velká komunita dramatiků. Jak jsem slyšel do těch předchozích autorů, kdo tu nebyl, tak vlastně pak je to pro básníky. A stejně autorka zmiňuje, že existují, existují různé organizace ve Skotsku, například se Sáčet Playwrights a jiné skupiny, které spojují s podobné podobné autory a jsou tu úžasné organizace. A samozřejmě jsou tam i prostory, různé kavárny a hospody kde vždycky najdete nějaké spisovatele. Takže to jsou taková malá místa, kde ty spisovatele jsou docela viditelní. Co se týče Walesu, tak o jejich divadle toho moc nevím. 
A co se týče té otázky ještě, ještě referenda, tak podobně, podobně s autor Clean Crisis, Clean Crisis, what was his nationality? Welsh. Tak, tak tomu ten autor, velský autor Clean Crisis, byl jediný, kdo podal tomu, tomu spolku Travers hru, která by se věnovala referendu. To hra se jmenuje Union. A to si myslím, že bude ještě zajímavé. Co se týče Londýna a anglického divadla, tak tam je to tak obrovské a tak rozmanité, že tam musíme být doma určitých malých skupin a znám spoustu spisovatelů a lidí, kteří se pohybují v tom literárním odvětví, ale nemůžu říct tak konkrétně, že bych měl rozhodnout o těch podobných stavích.